Hey there viewers, Eric O here, Self Made Auto. Welcome back to another video. You can't see it, but I've got a 2012 Grand Caravan on the lift here. Came in for a state inspection and it passed with flying colors, but the left front ball joint is ready to fall right out from underneath it. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. So you might ask yourself, How's that pass inspection? Well, New York State, they don't consider ball joints part of the steering or the suspension according to the regulations. However, if this vehicle is equipped with a kingpin, which we see often, it would fail. I don't know their logic behind it, I just know that's the law. Theoretically, we could put a sticker on this thing and send a lady down the road with a whole van full of kids. I don't really think that's safe, but New York State says it's not a problem. They say we can fail it if there is excessive steering wheel play, binding when it turns, uneven tread wear, or if the vehicle is visibly out of alignment. Really? <laughs> In my opinion, this is completely ridiculous. But uh, fortunately, the, you know, the lady who owns the vehicle, I told her what was wrong with it and told her that legally it couldn't fail. But uh, I told her the consequences if a ball joint breaks while going down the highway at 70 miles an hour and uh, she opted to fix it so I think that's the wise choice. So I got us a ball joint here. Got a move one. They are a press-in ball joint. That's what they look like. It's got the neurals on it but we're going to press it in. New one's greasable. Shouldn't be too big a job. Just looks like we got to separate the uh, nut off it. Pop the steering knuckle off and See if we can fashion something to press it in and out of there with. It should be in good shape. It appears this distance between the nut and the uh, axle shaft isn't going to allow us enough room to you know, take the nut off without pushing the axle shaft in. So better off just taking the nut off the axle shaft, pushing it in, and then we can get in here with a wrench and, un and unbolt that. That ought to be real friendly. Well, that seemed to rattle a little bit of the rust off it. Let's put a, just want to put a wheel nut on here, keep the shorter from coming loose. So we'll give it a little panther pee on there and whack it with the impact, see what happens. Well, it is three years old, you know, so you can't really expect it to, you know, just fall apart. So, well, you know what? I'm gonna zip that back on there a little bit. I'll stick a press on there and see if we can't push the axle in. Take that nut off once it, uh, if it starts moving, I guess we should, should say. This way here, in case it boogers up the threads a little bit. We...
back off and spin that nut off, see if it's gone in any. I don't think it has, so. Well, it doesn't appear to be budging. I swapped out the uh, vehicle lug nuts for a couple other ones that I had here because it's likely to get damaged. I don't think this is going to end well. But I put it back on there. I took the nut off. It doesn't appear to be doing any damage to the end of the shaft. This press part right here has a, um, you know, the end that goes on it swivels. So I just want to make sure it wasn't mushrooming it out. And, you know, I'm going to totally screw this job. We'll see what happens. pressure on it right now. Brought out the magic spray. That should be enough. I'm gonna hit it from the backside too, what I can. I'm gonna walk away for a little bit. We'll come back and we'll beat on it some more. So what I've done at this point, I took a little little plastic baggie, actually the one that came with the ball joint, and I just kind of stuffed it around the axle here, kind of create us a little bit of moat. And I've been spraying in the uh, training fluid acetone magic spray, but I don't know. I was wailing the piss out of that thing with a sledgehammer with, you know, with the press on it. I, I be, I'm very suspicious. I, I've seen these before in the Mitsubishi's and the Chrysler's. They don't come undone. I mean, up in my dad's shop, we've got a, a 150 ton press. I've actually just for the heck of it taken, you know, you take the whole steering knuckle up and you stick them in the press. You stall out a 150 ton press on that. Won't even budge. So if the miracle juice works, it'll be a miracle. <laughs> but uh, you know, in a case like this, you got no option. If, the, if this axle doesn't come out, which I suspect it won't, um, I mean, I'll give it everything I've got, you know, before this, but you're gonna end up buying uh, you know, a wheel bearing and an axle shaft because, you know, the only way to do it is I just take the torch, I cut the axle and, you know, uh, just, you know, you do what you got to do to get it apart. So I'm going to let this soak. I've got to do back brakes on this. I'm going to do the back brakes, eat some lunch, and I, every time I walk by it, I'll just spray it. I'll give it a few hours to soak. You know, I don't have days, unfortunately, to to do that. Um, even off camera, I had the press on there. And I'll, just for the heck of it, I'll smash on it some more. So. I beat on it quite a bit, you know, stalled the press, beat on it. I even went and, uh, you know, got a breaker bar and, uh, you know, I tightened it just as tight as I could get it and then smashed on it some more and, you know, still nothing. Um, you know, as of right now, the axle shaft, the end of it's still in good shape. We can still screw this nut on okay. Yeah, now that I see that. Yeah. So we can still screw the nut on okay. It's not getting deformed. The end of the press here has a, you know, like I say, a rotating, uh, you know, head on it, so it's not, you know, galling into it, but, you know, certainly smashing the heck out of it with a sledgehammer could, you know, mushroom that out. I, I'm, I expect the bond between the, the rust on the axle shaft and the, and the hub is, you know, probably so tight it's impenetrable, I guess, with penetrating oil, but we'll see. Maybe this will be a good testimony for the training fluid acetone mix. And uh, what I'm gonna do is, you know, keep spraying it then, you know, an hour or so, I'll turn it around, I'll move the moat and let it soak on the other side of the axle. And who knows, maybe it'll work. Hey, well, it's been a while. So like I said, it was just a plastic wrapper I threw in there just to 
kind of help hold the solvent in. I had to go over and uh, touch up the end of the press here on the grinder. Smashing on it with a sledgehammer takes its toll on it. This is why I didn't use the factory wheel nuts anymore because you can see what happens to these ones. You know, I suppose if you got some, you know, out of these 12 by 125, I think that's what they are, I don't know. Yeah, no, 12 by 150. You could just stick some regular nuts and washers on there. Um, but we'll stick this back on and smash on it some more and see if, uh, see if we can get it off there. Moving out west or down south sure seems uh, pretty nice at times like these. Shop and borrow one inch impact. It moved. Sweet. Thank you, Lord, for that. working on these rusty cars. Oh, you hear that? <laughs> Kaboom. Kaboom, just like Billy Mays. Kaboom! I think it just popped. Let's see if it does it again. Give her a little love tap.
don't know how much room we got to compress this axle, short of. Now it's not binding up yet. Oh, let's see. Get the socket stuck. Five minutes of me beating and smashing. video. So you want to move to New York to be a mechanic? Starting to bind right there. Better back off it. Get the ball joint cracked loose, and that way, there as we drive it in, it'll allow this to swing out. Probably a better safe than sorry. You can see that the axle shaft has came in thankfully um, so we've come in I don't know what you can see there we've come in that distance right there so we've come in a little bit I think this will allow us enough room to take our nut off now now if this was uh, I guess if this was me watching this what I would think is you know why didn't we you know unscrew the nut a little bit stick a pickle fork in here snap it loose you know let the ball joint down and unscrew it you know as the stud comes out well, if this was a castle nut, I could have. This is a lock nut. Um, you know, once once you bust this joint loose, the actual stud out of the steering knuckle, you know, the friction of the lock nut is going to overcome. You got nothing to hang on to at that point, I guess is what I'm saying. You know, if this was just a nut we could crack loose and, you know, spin it off by hand and, you know, pop this loose, then, then we'd be good to go. I, I hope that makes sense, but that, that's my reasoning behind getting enough room to get this all the way up and, and out um, you know we could have you know I could have put a little tin shield in here and come in here with a torch and just you know I could have just blew that nut off you know no problem that was another another option um, thing is I know a lady who owns this I know I'm gonna be servicing this vehicle the rest of its usable life or until she trades it I know it's a Dodge I know this wheel bearing is gonna go bad at some point so we got to look this demon in its face sometime might better be right now and we'll just get it done we'll get it working good and that way when it comes back for a failed wheel bearing we can uh, address that a whole lot easier
That's all we want to do. Just push that axle in real quick. Just boop, take the nut off. That's all I wanted to do. finish what we started you know we can't just put the nut on that and pull it back through because well frankly that would be stupid you gotta get the rest of the way out to clean up the splines but it's moving and now we don't have to worry about it you know driving through the back side of the transmission I just hope we have it I just hope it's rigid enough to I hope we got enough impact to drive it through I guess I'm hoping for a lot of things right now was easy. Well we got that out of the way and there's the ugly little monster that was giving us a hard time. Rust man, rust. Three year old car, not even three years old, barely three years old. <sighs> Sickening. <laughs> be a mechanic they said. It'll be fun they said. Yeah. Well I gotta walk away from this job for a little bit. This obviously set me behind. <laughs> I got caught up on some other things. I'll come back in a while. You won't even know the difference because it'll be like a little bloop in the camera and, and I'll be back. But that's what I'm going to do. You ever have the days that go from bad to worse? Well, I was just getting ready to go walk away. I said, well, I'll just take care of some stuff. So I screwed the nut back on here. I can't turn the CV shaft anymore. Evidently our outer joint did not like the uh, smashing and bashing. So we have to order an axle, but what are you going to do? Oh well. <laughs> Alright viewers, I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to move on to some bigger and better things and hopefully the day goes a little smoother got quite a bit on my plate still that's a shame that axle is kind of goofed up you know out here on the outer part of the joint it just it's just stiff I don't dare reuse it you know so obviously couldn't take the, the shock and the beating of the press but we had no choice I mean we had to push it back to get the nut off the off the stud on the uh, ball joint and we could have, like I said, pickle forked it down, but that just it just creates a whole, you know, just a different set of problems. This eventually would have had to come out. I mean, anybody that works on these knows as well as I do, you know, this wheel bearing's gonna fail at some point, probably in the not too distant future. So, you know, it's either I don't know what I like to say, pay me now or pay me later, you know. I mean I hate to say it like that, but it's it's kinda one of those things, you know, fix it now or fix it later, it's gonna have to be done regardless. 
Uh, I don't think they have any intentions of getting rid of this van, so I'll probably be seeing it for the next few years. Um, anyhow, we'll pick up on part two. We'll get the ball joint swapped out. Hopefully that CV shaft shows up uh, tomorrow, and we'll get that put in there and uh, keep moving forward. So thanks for watching, viewers, and remember, if I can do it, you can do it.